Hi everyone, welcome to Pregnancy Week 16. Um, I haven't updated in so long because first I felt like there was not much to say and then I was like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, and tomorrow I'm turned into forever. At 12 weeks I tried to do an update and my camera died right in the middle of it. So anyway, I have notes this time to keep everything I want to say. So let's start with week 16. Um, symptoms this week and kind of ongoing. Um, not too much. My belly is huge. My boobs are huge. Um, everyone's telling me because it's my third baby that I'm getting bigger faster. And though I'm only like four months, I feel like six, seven months, like it's hard to bend over. I feel like every time I bend, I want to like pick something up that I'm like squishing my belly down. And it's hard to like roll over and move around. And even like my kids will be taking a bath and I'll try to reach to wash their hair and it's like it's hard to do already. So that's that. Um just tired still. Just like fall asleep in the middle of the day. Um if my husband's home and he can watch the kids I'll just like be laying there and just like pass out still. Um just if I'm walking around a lot in the day my legs hurt, my feet hurt, but not too much. Um the morning sickness was gone pretty much after twelve, thirteen weeks. Um, the only time I feel, like, sick now is if I don't eat in time and I let myself get really hungry, then I start to feel sick and nauseous. What else is going on? I have been feeling the baby move. At first I wasn't sure because it felt like the fluttery, like, quickening, like, wiggly movement. And I thought that's what it was, but I wasn't sure. So I didn't want to say, oh, I'm feeling the baby when I wasn't sure if I really was. And then my doctor asked, so I was like, oh, you know, is that appropriate for this time? So... I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure, and now I'm sure, so, um, it's cool, a lot of times, it's like, when I'll be, like, laying down, and, um, it just feels like, well, if you have kids, you know, like, the fluttery, kind of, like, I don't really feel, like, kicks and punches yet, more just, like, the moving around, kind of, feeling, and then it's going to, because I only feel it once in a while so far, because it's not that far along yet, but then if I don't feel it for like a day or something, then it makes me nervous. So then when I do again, I'm like, okay, good, everything's fine. Um, I really prefer it later in pregnancy when the baby moves a lot so you know that they're okay because you can feel them moving. Going on just in general with the rest of the family, my daughter was supposed to start, start school today, um, Wednesday the 7th. Um, and now... Because of Hurricane Irene and all the damage that was done in our area, um, bridges got washed out, roads got destroyed, um, they are pushing back school till Monday, September 12th, which isn't too far, but we're all excited because she was starting today, we only got the phone call yesterday, so, um, and it said that the, uh, um, all the schools were told to close until they could check and make sure that all the roads and bridges and everything around the area were safe. So we got a couple more days at home, which is nice for my daughter because the little boy who is now 15 months old that I was babysitting, his last day was yesterday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week, we have just to do whatever we want pretty much because she doesn't start school until Monday now and we have no reason to have to stay home. Um, the reason I stopped babysitting was because they wanted someone who, right now, I would watch him most of the week, and when I didn't, on the, the day that I didn't, his grandmother would come down and babysit. But didn't really in the winter because she, the grandmother lived kind of far away and it was hard for her to get there. So come winter, she wanted me to start full time. My daughter now, she takes gymnastics two nights a week. Um, she's on the developmental team, so she's going to start competing. And... She, um, has practice two nights a week that start around 4 o'clock, so I would leave my house at around 3, 3.30, and the baby's mom doesn't get out of work till 5. So there's two days a week that I couldn't do it because she couldn't leave work early. Um, so she was talking about that, and then at the same time, I told her that we were pregnant and due in February, so in February I'd have to take a lot of time off, and, um, basically she said that she was going to find somebody else. And we're, it was all in good terms. Like, we're still going to watch him once in a while so the kids can play together and stuff. So, while that is good, um, you know, I'll have a lot more time now. I will also have zero income. So, I was trying to find a 
another job but being I'm pregnant and everybody knows it because it's such a small town and those that don't know it can tell by looking at me, nobody wants to hire me. And I don't know it'll be until February, so I can understand why they wouldn't want to hire someone when they know they're going to lose them not that far from now. Um, so right now I'm still looking, but I don't, you know, see it really going anywhere until after the baby comes. Looking for jobs for my husband, actually, um... We've been talking about for a while now moving to North Carolina. I don't want to say where we are now, but we're in the Northeast and we're wanting to move south. Um, we have a lot of friends there that tell us how you know how great it is, the weather, um, prices are so much lower there, housing, food, um, a lot of reasons why we want to go. Um, the reasons we want to stay, of course, our family's here. Um, Haley's gymnastics is here. Um, one of the reasons lately that makes me want to go is that we looked up her school, because she started kindergarten this year, we looked up her elementary school online, and based on its ratings, it got, it rated a 3 out of 10, and that's like, I really don't want to send my school, send my daughter to a school that rates only a 3 out of 10, um, when other schools even in our area got like, um, one up the mountain got a 7, Another one close to us got a six. There's one that's an eight, but they're all because we don't live in that town. We can't send her there. So I'm like, oh, at least if we can move away and have our choice of where we're going, we can pick a place with a very good school. Uh, what else? We made our appointment for our next ultrasound. It is September 28th that they should do the anatomy checking, and we should hopefully find out if we're having a girl or a boy. Boy. <laughs> Allie thinks it's a boy. If the baby is not breached, we're going to switch to the other doctor that's far away from our house, but with the hopes of having a VBAC delivery. Um, if we go to our ultrasound on the 28th and find out that the baby is breached, then we're going to continue to go where we are now and end up with another C-section. I made an ExpectNet um, website game. I'm going to put the link below where you can go and guess the gender, size, um, uh, size, length, and weight, date, and all that of when you think our baby will come and how big they will be, etc. Our due date is February 22nd, 2012, and um, our daughter was 7 pounds 9.3 ounces when she was born, and our son was 7 pounds 13.4 ounces when he was born. They were both I think my daughter was 19 and 3 fourths inches and my son was like 19 inches. Just to give you a rough guess of what this baby could be if you want to go down and put in a guess. Kelly's got the day off and I got the day off. We are going to go spend some time with Nana and that's where I am right now if you don't recognize the house um, at my parents' house. So I will see you guys next time. Hopefully it'll be sooner than like 10 weeks since my last video. But um... Yeah, oh, belly shot. I can actually show you my belly now because my stretch marks are kind of filling in since my belly's getting bigger, so it doesn't look as horrible as I would have at six weeks. Week 16, belly. Sixteen weeks pregnant, baby number three.